Hello and welcome to the Art Box. Here we are, back at our panel with all our goodies in place. The eye always goes to the colourful balloon at the top, doesn't it? There are lots more things to go in here. Of course, we put the cat in the other day. That's filled up the wall nicely. But I can't help feeling that the land here is rather sparse. I think that we might be able to put something more in there to make it more interesting. Oh, yes, and of course, we've always got the art box bunch with us. Oh, oh thank you, Rex. Wonder if it floats. Oh. 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 Oh, very nice. A treasure island. Now, let me show you how I make my island. What we have here at the moment is just a foreground. What I want to do is to put in a background and a middle distance of islands. So we'll start with this permanent marker pen. It's dark blue. Any sort of marker pen will do. But it should be permanent. And I'm going to make my first island up here floating in the sky, as it were, and it climbs up. I meant in the beginning to fill it all in like a complete silhouette, but I found that uh, it's rather fun if you leave a few little white marks. They look like little houses and outcrops of rock and things like that. It makes it a little bit more interesting, so I'm doing that, you see, just here, here and there. Well, there's one island. Now I'm going to put in another island. The base of it is going to go from one side of the picture to the other, right through those poplar trees or cypresses, whatever they are. And the island comes down like that, starts mounting up and gets higher there, and then goes down and out of the picture. We'll fill that in too. So at the moment, everything is of the same value, as it were. Everything is the same dark blue. We'll have this like that. Just a few rocks are showing. Now, what we've got to do is to try and make those islands look distant. And to do that, I'm taking ordinary chalk and the far island, I'm rubbing over with chalk. That gives quite a, quite a nice texture. Now the second island is nearer to us. So that has some chalk. So the tr tr trees are getting chalk too. But we don't leave it like that. Take a bit of cotton wool and then you can go over the chalk so that the far island is much lighter than the one in the middle and the one in the middle is lighter than the foreground. And now we're going to put a little bit more detail into the foreground. First thing we have to do is to bring these trees back to as they should be. So we put uh, marker pen ink onto them like that and now you can see them up against the, the middle distance island. Same thing over here. And now it'd be rather nice to put, I think we'll put a, a little house on the island. Little stone house. Like that, we'll put a, a window in there and maybe a, a door there. 
And you see how the middle distance island is lighter. And we can see that it's lighter than everything on the foreground. That's good. And also, I think, a little ship on the water, midway between the foreground and the other island. So we put that along like that. And then I'm going to take this little blue marker so that I can put a really thin mast down to the ship. Well, there we are. Uh, I think that it does look a little bit more interesting now than it did when we first saw it. Hello? doesn't take any prisoners. Anyway, let's put the new island on display. Oh, oh. oh now she's going to make Rex walk the plank. Oh, oh. 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 Well done, Bungie. Now you can untie them all. Now, I think the island's looking rather better now, don't you? Much more in it, more interesting. Now, we'll just put these trees back in position here. And that's all tidy. Got another idea for you. Over here square of paper, paper folding now, fold once and twice, I think we'll have another go, the more you fold the more difficult it is to cut but anyway we've got some good scissors to do a bit of cutting on here, never know what's going to happen when you do this, I make it up as I go along. We'll have a triangle out of here. And we'll have something out of here too. There. Now the unfolding. Ah, oh, not bad at all. Now, that just wants smoothing out. Now, what I'm going to do now is to use some cotton wool, taking up on the cotton wool some chalk dust. Lovely purple colour here. And use this as a stencil. With stencils and do, using chalk dust like this, you always feel that you haven't put enough on. But it's surprising how only a very little can be seen. But uh, in the middle, I think it will look quite good. Ready for the unpeeling. Here we go. Well, I didn't expect it to look quite like that, but it's um, quite attractive. Now, what I think we'll do now is to do another one, but with much more thought behind it. And uh, I want, first of all, to make a mask. Not, not a face mask, a mask which is the opposite to a stencil. You'll see exactly what I mean when I've done this. You could use anything, an egg cup or something. That's the sort of round size I want. Now, this time, it's craft knife, so the older ones of you can have a go at this. I'm going to put it up in the corner of my, my cutting board because the way to cut a circle out, you see, is to go around the circle as far as you can and then move the paper and go on. And because you do this, the whole thing moves. <laughs> We're getting near. We're, we've got it. 
There we are. There's the circle. That's fine. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the stencil bit. And I'm going to just mark for myself a hill line. And I'm going to cut that out. I think I'll use the craft knife because it's quick. And a nice, easy one. So what I have now, that is a stencil and that is a, is a mask. So I have that and I have this. And now I have another sheet of paper and the stencil and the mask to do something with. So I shall put the uh, mask where I want it, about there. That can go out for the moment. Now, back to this lovely coloured chalk. Let's get a nice clean piece of cotton wool and take up lots of chalk. Oh, lovely. Very dark on the top there. Now, the great thing about this is that um, when that circle is taken away, There'll be hard edge there, looking great. But to make a nice picture, we can use the cotton wool to merge this lovely chalk dust colour as though it were clouds or something, you see? And away it goes to very soft edges, if you could call them edges at all. Right, that's that bit done. We'll leave that there for the moment. Now this bit, I'll turn that over because I'm using that as a stencil. Because if I put that there as a stencil and get more chalk dust, get it nice and dark at the, at the top of the mountain hill line, and then that can all go merging off as it goes into the foreground. There we are. So first of all, we shall see the hill line, and now we can take this away. Oh, there. Now that's real hard edge and that looks really rather nice. I think to, to just make it lovely, uh, I would have a little more of this, just a little more of this colour so that it comes down towards the mountain there. Oh, there. What do you think of that, chaps? Chaps? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I see you found where I keep my drawing pins. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.